New tonight, an effort to curb violent crime in Charlotte. A dozen community organizations were awarded $50,000 grants to do just that. WCNC Charlotte's Brianna Harper heard from some of those groups seeking solutions to a growing problem in the Queen City. Most would agree preventing crime means being proactive. And that's one of the steps the city of Charlotte is taking in hosting this virtual community safety summit shortly after committing $1 million as part of the Safe Charlotte initiative. They're not giving away money. They're buying impact and they're making an uh, investment in the communities. Starting with awarding money to some of the grassroots organizations like Family Mankind. Our position is getting to the root cause of the individual inside of the house. So we're dealing with the dysfunction. Dysfunction, the expert A.W. Burgess says, causes trauma that usually leads to violent crimes. I don't care about me. Why would I care about shooting your child or holding you up or, you know, robbing your business at gunpoint? His solution is emotional healing to help stop domestic violence, sexual assaults, and other crimes. Similar to the idea of listening first, then offering advice and counsel, just as Scott Pacetti seeks to do through the nonprofit Planet Improv. Let me hear the realities of what you students and individuals go through in the real world. With the help of the grant money, he hopes to empower students with honest conversations that help improve a social emotional learning. Act out some scenarios in a safe and trustworthy environment so that we can do that ahead of time to hopefully empower the students so when they come into these situations in real life, they can feel better prepared. Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte. Charlotte leaders also hope to improve perceptions of safety with the help of UNC Charlotte. They are encouraging people who live in the Babies Ford Corridor to participate in a research study about community safety and get paid to do so. You can find more information included in this story on our website at WCNC.com.